The Bulls' journey through the Gainesville Regional continues. Jim Locke, Josh Appel with you. 9-1 to one the final on Friday. Josh, the Bulls got an early lead on Bethune-Cookman. Never looked back. Yeah, for the 30th time this season, the Bulls' bats produced double-digit base hits. And really, that early lead was all Phoenix Sanders needed. Seven shutout innings for the Bulls' ace. On to the host school. It's USF versus Florida in game two tonight. And a real treat for us, Josh. We're going to see two of the great arms in college baseball. Yeah, we are. On one side, you got Alex Fiedo, a projected first round pick going for Florida, second in the SEC in strikeouts. And then for USF, the left hander, Shane McClanahan, you're going to see a lot of high velocity from McClanahan, mid to high 90s with his fastball. He's been so good this year, shaking his last couple of starts, but hopefully in a big game tonight, Shane comes to pitch. It'll be the second time the Bulls and Gators have met here in Gainesville. Regular season about a month ago, they really had the bats out for that one. Yeah, 15 runs for the Bulls in that game against Florida, the 15-10 win in the midweek over the Gators. And what a game that was. And you look at what the Bulls' bats have done in this stadium. 24 runs the last two times they've played here. Should bode well for the Bulls tonight. The Bulls' first ever NCAA tournament game way back in 1982 was an 8-0 win over Florida. This is an ESPN3 game. Our radio coverage begins at 645 on AM 1040 in the Tampa Bay area and on the web on GoUSFBulls.com. Bulls hoping to go 2-0 heading into Sunday play.